welcome to the French region of La Sarthe for the 90th edition of the most amazing endurance race in the world, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. This year is a very special one because it's the celebration of 90 years of great racing and progress in the world of car manufacturing. Since 2012, Toyota has been back in Le Mans with a new technology, the hybrid race car. For the second race of the TS-030 here at the 24 Hours, Toyota wants to be able to perform at the same level of competition as their main opponent, Audi. Two cars, six drivers and a strong motivation. The goal is to reach the world's holy grail of endurance racing. The two cars start from fourth and fifth position on the grid. Attention, premier freinage avec les deux Audi. Oh, tout de suite, la bagarre. The challenge to catch and match the Audis from the start. After a very strong start, both cars are fighting in the top five of the LMP1 category. Nicola Lafierre suffers a few seconds from a fuel pump malfunction. Nico will be able to rejoin the race. The night goes with no major problems, but the end of the race looks like being tricky with a very bad forecast and changing conditions. At the first hours of dawn, both TS 030s are still fighting for the win. Le Mans is cruel and Audi start to suffer some problems on two of their three RATs. Cars 8 and 7 move to 2nd and 3rd positions. Unfortunately, this is when trouble starts for Toyota racing. The rain is starting to push the drivers beyond their limits. 6-0, it's quite wet, 6-0-1. Copy, copy, 6-0-1 wet. Despite number seven being heavily damaged, the Toyota racing team manages to bring the car back to score some points for the WEC. Le Mans is still the property of the German brand, Audi. No doubt Toyota has marked its territory for the future. Second place finish for the number eight and a fourth place for number seven. This 2013 Le Mans 24 hours was full of excitement and emotion. You are the legend. Congratulations to Tom Christensen, Alan McNeish and Loic Duval. But Toyota will be back next year even stronger. The entire Toyota racing team is thinking of Alan Simonson, who passed away in the early hours of the race. The sad news of uh, Alan Simonson, the loss, I think we all share that sadness and uh, a cruel reminder that our sport is dangerous. Our thoughts, all of us standing here, are with him and his family at this time. Um, very mixed emotions for, for all of us. See you in 2014 at the most amazing endurance race in the world, the 24 Hours of Le Mans.